So what we're going to show you on this video today is how uh, we, from setting up a case, how we then launch into a fact find. And there's, there's three different ways to do it. And I'm going to show you um, each way uh, right now. So the first one is by viewing your case. So this case here, Mr. Barry Bobby, uh, we've, we've selected him. And at the moment, where I am with uh, Barry Bobby is I've um, set, uh, set him up, I've booked an appointment, and we've sent him some documents through the portal. So next steps are to um, launch a fact find. I could have asked him to do the fact find for me, and um, or I could do it myself, either way, uh, to get his details. But how do we actually do it? Well, the first way we can go ahead by launching a fact find is by going to the mortgage review uh, option here, which is the name of the lead source. So the lead source um, option, whatever you've chosen, it will call it that in the um, on the page there, beneath the case ID uh, and client portal, etc. Um, so if I go on the mortgage review lead source, because that's what we set up for this client, and I then can go to sales opportunity documents in the middle there. Now one way to then go into the fact find is you're going to either have uh, have it ready to go. Uh, it'll be in the uh, box waiting for you and what you can do is you can double click on it and it will take me through to the uh, straight to that fact find. So that's one way in to do it. So here it comes that way. And it loads up and it will take me straight into their case record within the fact find uh, online system. So hopefully that's uh, that's not too difficult for you to understand, um, but that's not the only way we can do it. So here I am, I'm now in, in the fact find, and as I can see, nothing that's been filled in yet, it's completely blank. So let's go back, and the other way we could do it in here is if we hadn't already started a fact find, because the only reason why this is showing um, in here as an online fact find option is because I've already started it, I've already uh, started a fact find at some point, I pressed launch sales process. Um, the other way I can go, go about it is uh, on the, uh, above that on the tab, you've got the sales process bit there. I can then drop this down. It won't show now because I've already started it. And it says online fact find. You select online fact find and you select start sales process. So you can do that for each um, lead source you have. But I do think that this way is a little bit difficult because it's hidden away under the opportunity documents tab, which doesn't really make sense to be honest. Um, but just be aware that's how you could do it. Now, another way we can go about it is if I go back to my hotbox, which is my um, prospect list, and um, this is more the traditional way that we've, we've taught in the past, is to right-click on your uh, client that you want to start a fact find on or to continue a fact find on, and you go up to start sales process, and from there, you select online fact find. So a lot quicker, a lot cleaner, and uh, this one, again, will take me straight through to the, uh, the fact find itself. However, finally, what if I am not in, um, what if I'm not able to use the system? What if I'm on the go? What if I've got my iPad with me or I am out and about with customers and I haven't got the application downloaded on that, on that bit of kit? So I want to get into a fact find. I want to launch somebody's fact find with them, um, someone that I've set up in the past. Well, how do I do that? Well, what I would do is um, I would go directly into the 360 um, online fact find myself. So what I can do, if I go to, um, now I've saved it as a tab actually, so I can just click straight onto it. And if I look at this tab there, if you see the, the unique uh, URL there you need, it is factfind.360lifecycle.co.uk. Um, if I type that in, it brings me to this login page and from the login page, I'm able to then go straight in to have a look at the um, fact find options and research options. So it always um, brings you into the opening page being the in progress um, page for you. And the in progress page is, is a complete replica of your hot box within the application. So all I'm going to do now to start the fact find again uh, with Barry Bobby is I need to find him. So I can do that by he's literally searching through. And I can see he's at the bottom there. But you can also um, you can also do it by alphabetical order. I can also do it by fact find when it was created. So I can look at the most recent ones. 
um, and you can do it by status. So you can look at who's um, which clients have got the fat finds um, in control and which ones with the advisor as well. So if I go with um, find Barry Bobby by looking at fat find created being my most recent at the top, I can see here there he is Barry Bobby 27th of the 10th and I'm going to go to edit fact find. And that brings up the fact find that way as well. So there you have it. That's your three ways to open a fact find for one of your customers. I uh, hope that is, uh, uh, makes sense for you and helps you a little bit in your journey through life cycle. Okay, and that is it for the second tutorial. Thank you very much.